windows are made mostly of wood, and wood shrinks and swells with changes in humidity. Damp Chaser makes a product that goes inside pianos that maintains a constant humidity level. It keeps pianos on pitch and protects them from problems created by humidity. I'm Gail Mayer and I'm the president of Damp Chaser Corporation. Well, I often tell Gail that it's more about building people than it is about building things here and that's, that's what it's allowed us to get good people and keep them is that internal development and cultivation of their skills. My dad and a partner bought the business from the inventor in 1986. Well, I'm uh, Gail's husband and uh, obviously her father's son-in-law. Uh, but the family's really welcomed me in and I feel like uh, through their acceptance that I've made a contribution to the business too. My name is Roger Wheelock and I'm Executive Vice President of Damp Chaser Corporation. Roger and I joined the business in 1995. Dad ran it with his partner and then he realized that he really wanted it to be a family business. We were both working in Colorado in environmental consulting firm and I was a regulatory compliance specialist and Gail was doing project management work. So he bought out his partner and then he said, okay, are you guys going to come and help me with this business? And Roger and I were uh, really happy that he asked us. Her father made the call and we chose to accept it and it was a, a big decision on our part but it was a uh, a very uh, wise decision, I would say, now looking back. Our employees are really important to us. Um, one of the things that we value very much is the knowledge and skills that they bring. Because in a small business, a business this size, everybody wears a lot of hats. When Gail and I got involved in, in actually operating the business, when her father retired, we uh, realized that the people that did the work knew the business better than we did, so we started listening to them about their ideas and decisions and cultivated a, a team that would take us to this point right here. And so the employees really need to step up and be responsible, and they are, and that's really what's helped us be successful. So with our 20 employees, it's uh, it really becomes a family, and uh, I know that word sounds a little bit overused, but um, We've all gotten to know each other, and, and yet we all have our differences, and we've learned to respect those, particularly among our long-term employees here. I think it's maintaining a, a consistent set of values and communicating those values to the employees and to family members, essentially. The ability to pass along values from one generation to the next. My dad had such a strong work ethic and a value for honesty and quality in the product, and he really passed that on to us. Gail's father had very strong values, and we tried to adopt those and modify them, uh, but always with an, one eye towards our employees having families also, and that their life is not just all involved in the factory here, but that we need to uh, show caring and concern about the issues they deal with with their husbands or wives at home and all their children and, and relatives. So we've tried to take the family values that we brought to the business and then uh, treat our employees with respect and uh, really a level of dignity for their family also. I think that what is good about the business for our family is that it's allowed us to, to grow in ways that, that we wanted to grow. And we've really enjoyed traveling because our customers are all over the world. So we've taken the kids to Europe. I went to Japan with my dad, which was a wonderful experience. Between the two of us, we have three children. They all have worked at various times in the company. It really depends on the child. I, we've tried to find a way for them each to get a taste or a flavor of the business, but we've never been pushy about requiring them to take over the reins or anything like that. And we want our children to uh, be happy in their work and in their lives, and if it isn't quite a fit with us, that's okay. Now, Gail may say that a little differently. She does push a little bit on our son, and uh, I, I think that's great, too. Robbie's also gone with us to almost every convention. He's been going to piano conventions since he was six months old. There's a possibility that um, 
that he could come into the business and help it move forward in, into the next generation. I am so proud that we won it. I'm proud because our employees get that sense of satisfaction. They get that publicity and they can see what their hard efforts have earned.